Hello everyone, this is Arturus, and I'd like to welcome you all back to the third episode of the Minecraft Survival Series. Now, as you can obviously tell, I have done a bit of work off screen. Yes, I know, I said that I was just going to recoup what I lost, but... Well, the house was a bit of a mess, honestly. It was a crap shack, as I stated. And I didn't feel like just leaving it there whilst I was off stream. Yeah, off video. And now... I did say I was just going to get what I lost off video, but sadly, whilst you are just gather, going around gathering stuff, you're inevit inevitably going to find things. And, well, I had to stuff and record just in case. I found diamonds, which I did. Now, I've got 11 of these, and... I honestly didn't expect to get them, and it was frustrating as all hell where I found them. I'll just post in the clip of what I found, where I found them, and yeah. What? Come on! You mean if I kept doing the boring, boring strip mine, I would have found diamonds? I would have kept up my promise at the start of the episode? This is just... I don't even have anything to mine anymore. I lost everything. Why does this happen? <laughs> well... You are... Getting marked out very clearly so I can get you later. <laughs> no. You can't do this to me. Not going like this, not again. Second set of diamonds. That was quite literally... I'd, I'd been here before on video. If I just kept walking, I would have found it. <laughs> this is annoying as all hell. I lost everything for nothing trying to get diamonds. And then they've just been here this whole time, where I could have gotten them. <laughs> no! If I actually lost any of those, then that would have been... Oh, come on, I can't place it down now. That would have been one of the greatest losses I have experienced. <gasps> I'm leaving the mines now. Okay, so you saw how I found the diamonds. And I'm pretty sure that everyone can agree with me that that would be very frustrating to know that they were quite literally, like what, 10 blocks away from you? One in a strip mine to the side, and one in a literal cave where I entered and exited. It was just... Dear God. The sheer amount of pain, realizing that the very end of that episode was all for nothing was just horrifying. And now that I've found diamonds, well, you all know what the next goals are. Enchanting table, and... A nether. Yes, that horrible place full of the stuff that killed me last episode. In literal oceans worth of the stuff. It's just begging for the same thing to happen all over again. But don't you worry. I'm going to leave stuff that I can't lose, like this pickaxe, behind when I go there. For now though, I'll get the obsidian and I'll see you back on screen. 
get them back. And by God, that took forever getting the obsidian. I mean, seriously, I'd forgotten just how long it took to mine the damn stuff. Now that I have that, though, I can't... Oh, oh God, I left the diamonds on me. Oh, God, that could have turned out very bad. Oh, God. I don't have a book, do I? Well, it looks like the village is getting raided. And after I've got that enchanting table, and I put my pick away, it's off for the very first excursion into the nether we go. Now, let's just hope this place has a... That's just the pathway. This place has, hopefully, a library. Given it has a blacksmith, I'm feeling quite lucky. And so, I believe that this will have a library. And if it has a library, I can get books. And if I can get books, I can make the enchanting table without having to go through the long and arduous process of finding... This place doesn't have a library, does it? Yeah, no, it doesn't. Well, that's annoying. I've got a journey out to find sugarcane then. I was hoping to just get straight into diving into the nether today. But it seems that I am not that lucky at the moment. I mean, I probably ended up using it all up when I got those diamonds off cam. Well, not off camera. I was on camera, but you get what I mean. I wasn't planning on recording a video. I was just recording information that could be useful if I did find stuff. I'll be back when I found sugar cane. And we're back once more, and I will fully admit finding that sugar cane took a lot longer than I thought it would. Initially, like, it's sort of common in streams around deserts, but this time, yeah, that, that took a long time. <laughs> I didn't exactly want to show that on screen. Now. I need three bits of paper. So, the rest of this can get planted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, I did have to stop at home for food which is why the obsidian and diamonds are inside this chest. I realized when I came back for food that, oh dear God, I'd brought them with me. What would happen if I lost it? And I also found pumpkins, so they'll be useful for getting snow golems later if, well, I feel like I need lots of snow. Now, and I left the leather in the chest. Yeah, I left the leather in the chest. Book. You didn't see that. Book, obsidian, diamonds, and enchanting table achieved. Now I just need to save up all the leather and sugar cane I can to actually make the enchanting room. That's going to be a pain in the ass, and it's going to be an even bigger pain to get all the levels needed to enchant stuff. Because so far, I have not found a mob spawner or anything that can really help me gain levels quickly. So that's going to be more stuff to do off camera. <laughs> and yes, I only got 10 obsidian for the cheaper version of the portal. I'm not going to go over the waste to mine four more blocks when I can just easily get it done without needing them in the first place. One, two, three, dirt. Two. I missed that way too badly. 
And now, the journey to the nether begins. Please say that I have flint. One sec. Now I know what you're wondering. Why in the hell did you not have flint if you were planning to go to the nether? Well, I'm sorry, I hate dealing with gravel. It's one of those annoying blocks that just keeps falling and you keep digging and it feels like you make no progress when in reality you are. Now, this time, the journey to the nether. Wait, no, leave, leave, the, leave the important stuff behind. God. Important stuff left behind. And now, the journey to the nether truly does begin. I rather like this place. It's a shame that the nether's always so... Well, that could have ended very badly. <laughs> Try to come over there. I don't want to get so close. But yeah. So let's see. My portal is in between a warped forest and basalt deltas. This is not going to be fun to navigate. <laughs> and eventually find another fortress. I love this stuff. Awesome colored planks, and it's fireproof. I really hate nether sounds. Nope, 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 no, nope, no. Nope. I'm not dealing with those sounds. Please, no. It's just asking me to get startled and let go of shift. But so far... This spawn is not looking as good as I hoped it would be. It looks like I'm just sort of on an island made of a mixture of the warp forest and the basalt deltas. With no actual way of getting to anywhere. What was that? Okay, it's just a magma slime. No need to panic. But yeah, this spawn oh, looks actually pretty crappy. Despite my lack of the of these materials here, this is actually one of the crappiest spawns I could have gotten. I'm quite literally trapped on an island in the middle of the nether. So if I want to get anywhere, I'm going to need to have to bridge. And now it's night time. Just great. I feel like I've made... Well, I mean, I've made a little bit of progress, but it also feels like I've made none in terms of recording. Because a lot of the stuff that I actually had to do to be able to do this stuff was boring. And it's basically just silent journeying. There wasn't too much combat, there wasn't too much anything. So I don't feel like I've made a lot of progress for the recording, and I apologise to everyone for that. I mean... I wanted it to be more exciting. The After the last episode turned out to be a kind of a... well, a bust. But it just seems I haven't managed to pull it off, in my opinion. I mean, yes, exciting, managed to find diamonds and... Got into the nether, 
But then my original plan was to go to another fortress and that sort of... Well, that's stalled with the island in the middle of nowhere shit. So there isn't really much I can do on that hand. On the other hand, the other stuff that I have planned to do after that, I do not have the resources for. So I can't, like, start an iron farm. Um, ooh, donkey. I need to get a saddle. And then I'll be, and then I'll be bringing Donkey the Donkey back to base. Stay alive, you hear me? What was I talking about again? Ah, oh, yeah, lack of progress. Well, to be honest, yeah, I think that's just something people have to deal with sometimes. You don't always get the best spawns. You don't get the best, like, planned out stuff. Which is something that I'll need to cover a bit of why in a sec when I finish this off. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. And I'd like to ask if you would like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll s I'd also ask if you'd stick around just to hear this last bit. Uh, I have managed to get a full-time job and I'm going to be hammering out my driver's license. And so I might not be able to record over the next two weeks. And I apologize to everyone for that. I really wanted to be able to keep things progressing, but real life stuff needs to take priority at the moment. I will be back. I won't just drop this channel and not do stuff at all. I just need to focus on this first. And then once I'm used to everything, I will be back. I promise that. And if you don't, if you don't like this content, cause I am sure there are some people who don't, I'd like to ask that people take a look at my own subscribe list and have a look. Uh, those YouTubers, they are great. They can give good, they give good reviews for games. They, and in general, they can just make you laugh. So, I'd like to thank anyone who stuck around to this point and I'll see you all next time.